So Bittersweet, Bittersweet. That's the name of a plugin from Flux Audio. It's completely free to download and we're gonna talk about it today. So let's go. So Bittersweet version three by Flux Audio. Now this plugin has actually been around for quite a while. I've been using it for quite a few years now and I think it's amazing. Uh, and as I mentioned, you can download it for absolutely nothing. You can download it from their website. I will leave a link in the description. Um, but now, what, what is it? Well, Bittersweet is what we call a transient shaper or transient designer as they call it. Uh, I will show you a little demo in just a minute just to show you what it actually does. But for now, let's first take a look at the interface. Okay, so this is what it looks like and the first thing you'll notice is this huge knob in the middle. Now, if you turn this knob to the right, so to the bitter side as they call it, um, this will increase the transient and you know, it will make the sound a bit more aggressive, so to speak. Now, if you turn the knob to the left, uh, so to the sweet side, this will decrease the transient and will make the sound a bit more mellow, or at least the transient a bit more mellow. Now, uh, up here to the left, you see fast, medium, and slow. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the effect will be um, applied either very fast or medium fast or slow. Uh, okay, now just beneath the big knob it says period and as I understand it This is the period or the window in which the sound will get affected uh, By default it is set to 40 milliseconds if you turn it all the way to the left That's the minimum of 20 milliseconds if you turn it all the way to the right. That's the maximum of 120 milliseconds now Down here to the right that is the output gain not a lot to say about that other than this link button that's pretty interesting so if this is engaged you can disengage it and engage it obviously whenever you turn the big knob either to the right or the left that will also have an effect on the output gain now sometimes you don't want that sometimes you want a nice even constant output level now of course you can achieve that by using the output gain slider manually but this plugin has this option if you engage the link button it will automatically adjust the output gain for you so that's a very useful tool a very useful functionality now finally down here to the left um, a section called mode uh, this is kind of the mid side slider so to speak so by default it is set to main which means that the entire signal will get affected if you slide it to the center this will only affect the mid the middle um, if you slide it all the way to the right to stereo only the sides will get affected and the middle will stay unaffected okay so that is the interface in a nutshell okay time for a little demonstration now i've got a little drum loop right here so let's first take a listen okay now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to play that drum loop one more time and then i'm going to turn that big knob all the way to the right and then i'm going to turn it all the way to the left so you can hear exactly what this plugin does okay so let's go Now, as you can hear, when I turn the knob to the right, it seems like the drums are hitting a lot harder. Uh, and when I turn it to the left, it seems like the sounds are a bit muffled. But keep in mind that this plugin only affects the transient, so only the initial part of the sounds. Now, with drums, that's a little bit difficult to hear because drum sounds are usually very short in nature. So let's take a listen to another instrument. Okay, now here I have an uh, electric piano. Oh, it says organ. But it's an electric piano, doesn't matter. Um, let's do this again. I'm gonna play this, uh, this loop and I'm gonna play with the, the knob and you, you should be able to hear the difference. Let's go.
Now again, it was pretty obvious that when I turned the knob to the right, it seemed like the keyboard player was hitting the keys just a bit harder. And when I turned it to the left, it all of a sudden became a lot more mellowy and spacey. But again, keep in mind that the plugin only affected, only affects uh, the initial part of the sound, so only the transients. Now this plugin can be useful for uh, well, a few things actually. Uh, as you might have heard with the drum sounds, it can kind of change the character of the sounds a little bit. What I use it for primarily is sometimes in the mix there is a sound that is kind of buried or masked by some other sounds and you can use this plugin to help to help it cut through the mix as they say or to make it stand out a little bit more and in that regard this is absolutely a great plugin use it all the time um, it's very simple but very effective it sounds very good i think um, yeah i just recommend it highly you know and on top of that as i mentioned it's absolutely free so why not okay so yeah that's it for now bittersweet by flux check it out thanks for watching and i will talk to you soon